Okay. Hello guys. My name is uh, Ehato Christian Osaze. You are welcome to the Chris Ehato Show. Now, in the Chris Ehato Show, we talk about real estate, real education, um, real empowerment, and then of course, we talk about real development. But today, I would like to quickly speak on a topic that is very interesting, a topic that I believe that every man, every woman, and every household should take to heart. And uh, the topic has to do with a wise woman. A wise woman. Now, if you look at the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 1. The book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 1. Don't forget that the book of Proverbs is the book of wisdom. It's a book that explains the wisdom of God, the wisdom of man, the wisdom of women, the wisdom that is needed for business and the wisdom that is needed for living. So now in the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 1, the Bible said, Every wise woman builded a house, but the foolish woman plucked it down with her hands. A wise woman would build a house, but a foolish woman would bring down a house with her own hands. Now, having gotten that background that there is what you call a wise woman in the land of the living, let us ask ourselves this question. Because a wise woman is a phrase that contains two vital elements. It contains wise, which connotes wisdom, and a woman, which connotes humanity. Now, we are talking about a woman who is alive. A woman who is alive and he or she, I mean, she considers herself a wise woman or the man can refer to her and say, hey, that's a wise woman. Hey, that's a foolish woman. So, if every woman builds her house and a foolish woman pulls down her house with her own hands, what is wisdom? What is wisdom? Now, People have said that wisdom is the application of knowledge. That is true, but it is not the complete truth in the sense that wisdom is the ability to get knowledge. Wisdom is the ability to get knowledge. Wisdom is the ability to understand the knowledge you've gotten. And then wisdom is the correct application of the knowledge and the wisdom that you have in the right direction. Now. According to Proverbs, the scripture said that a wise woman will build a house. So, if her direction is to build a house, what a wise woman would do is to apply the knowledge that she has about building a house, her understanding of a building projects, and then of course, apply it in the direction of building a house. So, you can see that wisdom is actually the correct application of wisdom and knowledge about building things. Wisdom is the correct application, the ability to apply the knowledge you've gotten, the understanding of the knowledge you have, and then the correct application in the direction in which you want that wisdom to go into. Now that we have an understanding, a basic understanding of what a wisdom is, so we know who is a wise woman, or rather, before we even go to who is a wise woman, we have a definition of wisdom, the understanding of how to apply the knowledge that you have in the direction of your desire. That is wisdom. Correct application in the right direction. So now, who is a woman? Having known what wisdom is, who is a woman? I have here that a woman is any human being that God can get out of the rib of a specific man and that is very distinctive any woman that God can get out of a particular man a specific man because the first woman that was created came out of the ribs of Adam so any other woman that you see today she didn't just born into this world but she's a woman that has actually come out of the rib of a specific man somebody so we have an understanding of what wisdom is 
the correct application or the ability to apply the knowledge that we have, the wisdom that we have, the understanding that we have in the direction in which we want that wisdom to go into, and that a woman is any human being, you no, know, any female human being, not a man human being, any male, any female human being that comes out of a male man. Alright? Any female man that comes out of a male man, the ribs of a male man, is actually what you can describe as a woman. Because in the case of Adam, the woman came out of the man. The man was asleep and God opened up his flesh, brought out a rib from the woman, closed up the rib, the man woke up and the man saw a woman. So it is not like man came out of man. That's not who a woman is. It is a woman. A woman comes out of the womb of a man. So that's who a woman is. Now, who is a wise woman? A wise woman is any woman that know and understand her purpose in life. A wise woman is a woman that know and understand her purpose in life. So, if a woman wants to marry, is it foolishness to marry a fellow woman or is it wisdom to marry a man? Alright, so, if a woman wants to build a relationship that is called a marital relationship, is it with a fellow woman or with a fellow with a man? Obviously, according to scripture, it is with a woman. Thank you. So, and then secondly, now that we know who a woman is, and we know who a man is, and then we know what wisdom is, okay, so, um, let us apply this thing to real life. In applying this thing to real life, the Bible said that true wisdom is a house built. So, a woman that knows how to build her own house, all right, is considered a wise woman. But a woman that knows how to, understands how to destroy her own house is clearly a foolish woman and not a wise woman. Now, there is this song by Fela, you know, called Lady, that really, you know, rings in the back of my head as I do this talk. It said that if you call a woman, African woman, no kukri, she go say, I be Lady. She, that woman will say that she's a lady, but that market woman is a woman, but she is a lady. If you call her to dance, she will dance like a lady. But if you call an African woman to dance, who or a market woman to dance, she will dance fire dance. Why? You know, the fella said that a lady thinks she's a man. She would like to sit down before a man. She sees herself as a master. But a wise woman understands the role of a man, understands the role of a woman. Okay, she knows her place in society. She knows her place in the home. She does not struggle for power. She does not struggle for leadership with a man in the house. So, a wise woman does not just see herself as a lady. She sees herself as a woman. She sees herself as somebody that has been taken out of a man. So that is why, for instance, if you are an African and you are going to Europe, where women see themselves as equal with men, you know, if you have wisdom, if you are a wise woman, you will know the role of um, a woman and you know the role of a man. So that's it. Uh, a call is coming in, and I think we've said enough. Okay. So the call is <laughs> it's amazing when you are making videos with your phone. A call can come in, except you have a dedicated camera. So, uh, let us quickly wrap this up. So, we've said that a wise woman is a woman that understands that our wisdom is to build. Our wisdom is not to scatter. All right? Our wisdom is not to pull down our own house with our own hands. And that wisdom is the ability to get knowledge, the ability to understand knowledge, and the ability to know and uh, apply um knowledge in a way that is going in the right direction okay 
and that a woman is any human being, any female human being that comes out of a man. So get that keyword, not just any woman, a human being, but any female human being that comes out of a man, a specific man. That is why for people who are happy in their homes, who understand that the man in their life, they came out of that man. Okay, it is very easy to see the wisdom and then when they talk. And there's something else as well, I've also discovered as well to that. Um, wisdom is in the DNA of the man. So any woman that comes out of a particular man, the man, the woman would carry the DNA, the wisdom bank of the man. So if a man is wise, it is likely that the wife will be wise. If a woman is foolish, if you look at it deeply, you discover that most times she's connected to a foolish man. My name is Ehato Christian Sase. I hope you have learned something. So when it's to come your way, we would make sure we don't have the kind of itches that we have. So see you next time. God bless you. Bye.